question everybody's been asking today, why does it seem like this storm snuck up on us? Our Melanie Michael live for us tonight. Mel, you went straight to the expert, our very own chief meteorologist, Steve Jervey. We certainly did. Had a great conversation with him, and he tells us it's simple. It's all about the warm Gulf water, and this storm was sneaky. In 35 years, I have seen some extremely strange things in the tropics, so really nothing surprises me. But even Steve Jervey admits this storm was sudden. It formed fast and furious. Tampa Bay went to bed on a rainy Sunday night and woke up Monday morning to Tropical Storm Emily. It was obvious we were going to get a lot of rain, and we thought there was a possibility that it could deepen over the warmer waters and possibly become stronger and become a tropical depression or possibly a storm. Possible, Steve says, but not probable. And that's why the Gulf has such a wild reputation in the weather world. It's volatile and unpredictable. For us to sit and watch this, it's amazing. We know these things can happen, but to actually see them happen and form, it's amazing to us. In the simplest terms, Emily seemed to sneak in because she did. Some weird weather was going on in the Gulf. The water, super warm. The air above it, super unstable. A fury unleashed by a cold front helped to churn that warm water into a storm overnight. And Max Defender 8, the world's most powerful radar, tracked Emily's every move. So clear, farther, faster. Uh, no other television station has it in the market, and it is an excellent, up-to-date, and state-of-the-art radar. So one of the questions we had for Steve, what did we learn from this storm? He tells us one word. Preparation. It reminds us just how quickly this can happen and how it can get really, really nasty in a hurry. Jen? It can turn on a dime. Melanie Michael, live in Tampa Force tonight. Mel, thank you.